Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of the I Hate Matt Wall podcast, the only podcast where the host hates himself so much. A um, bit, bit of self loathing there, a little bit, a little bit. Um, didn't do an episode last week because I was on a journey last weekend. And um, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but first I want to hit the Patreon shoutouts, because if you are a Patreon member, you get to watch the video version of this. Um, and I think today I'm going to just post the video version on YouTube, because I haven't um, posted a YouTube video in over a week, and I'm trying to get more people signed up for Patreon. So, Patreon shoutouts are... Michael M, yay, Deb K, yay, Bunny Dub, yay, and Jess, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, all you cheap ass motherfuckers who are watching this for free, or listening to this for free, you need to thank those four wonderful people for making your life a better place, okay, um, and then real quick, I'll probably do this again at the end, the patreon deal for the week maybe um pharma phoenix rises the chapbook of mine from i think it came out in april um if you are a patreon member you can get this for only five bucks instead of how much it costs on patreon or on etsy so if you are a patron and you want that for um five bucks just hit me up. I will put a thing in the thing on Patreon for you guys to see that. Um, so real quick with some updates. Um, let me see. Do I have all of this up here or do I not? That's that. That is that. That is that. I do not have it up here. So I will have to yank on out of here. That's weird. Um, oh man, are you, things are getting all messed up in here. And of course, this happens on camera because that's how I roll. Okay, so now we have that up there. So that's good. Um, so, how this is working out, like uh, fingering the mundane, let's talk about that real quick. Um, the formatting's finished, the editing's finished. Um, I got the PDF proof to see what it looks like. Um, I ordered the physical proof copy, so that will be coming. And I think it's like, um, I want to say 268 pages, I think is the final total of page count on there. And, um. So once I get the proof back, I will look over it. If everything's okay, I will go ahead and place the order. So then I can start um, sending out the uh, Indiegogo copies for all the people who ordered it on Indiegogo. Yay. Um, the formatting on that was a lot harder than um, I thought it would be. Uh, mainly because I'm doing this on a PC instead of a Mac, so I had to um, outsource a bit of help to make that go, because I was about to fucking murder somebody. Okay, so that's that. Um, Poetic Anarchy Volume 1, um, the anthology of the poets who took the first class, uh, that is out. That is out now. I will put a link in the description below if you want to go check that book out, pick it up, and fucking read some fucking really good fucking poetry from some really fucking new writers. So, um, it's, 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 it blows my fucking mind. Um, Weird Mass 25 is out, and probably by the next episode, I will have copies of all these so I can show you all the stuff. Um, so that'll be cool. And then uh, this month's chat book from me, Panic, for 
um, little novella short stories uh, in here so that you guys could pick up and shit. And that is on my Etsy shop. And you can find that there. So, that's all the goddamn updates on releases. So now you guys are probably going, okay, so please, please, Matt, tell us about your insane weekend. Okay, well, one of the uh, things that we do, because the Poetic Anarchy course is going on right now, and that is taking up quite a bit of my time. Um, and this is why I don't know how often I'm going to do this again, because it is kind of heavy for me. And um, I don't write as much when I do the class. Um, I don't make as many videos when I do the class because I'm making videos for the class all the time. So um, one of the things we do is it's really important for a writer to live, to live a little, to do things that they wouldn't normally do, to step outside their comfort zone, to see the world so they could fucking experience things and tell people about it and share and stuff like that. And here in California, I, 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 um, we had a crazy week where, I mean, it's been crazier longer than a week, but it was this shit with um, the recall of the governor. Um, there was a election for the recall and, um, I didn't really know what to do for my going out and living kind of thing. So what I ended up doing was going out, um, and talk to people about what they thought about the recall and how they were feeling about it, how COVID played a part in the recall, um, homelessness, uh, the economy, shit like that. Just to see, like, what people think. Because if you watch the media, like, the media would tell you that um, Larry Elder, who was the front runner for the um, recall Gavin Newsom thing, could have really fucking, like, kicked his ass you know, and won the recall and won the governor's seat. Um, but then when you looked at polls, the polls didn't show it like that. So it was just really strange. And somebody was lying. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. And not like I'm a fucking investigative journalist. But I was kind of hoping to try to interview people and write a piece that really showed, like, at least what I found in spending like four days like talking to people and all i really found was that um people are just fucking scared um there's a bit of like machismo going on but not a lot like a lot of people don't know what the fuck was going on they didn't understand why anything was happening some people were really mad at Newsom about shit that had nothing to do with him being governor. It had to do with, um, he looks, what was, what did the, he, uh, oh my God, what was the quote? Just like that he looks stuck up and, uh, just like weird little shit like that. And then there were some people who had like legitimate beefs um, about the wildfires and how they were blaming that on him um, with very good cause. Um, and then there were some people talking about homelessness and how um, he hasn't really done what he said he was going to do about that. Um, really good shit. And then there were other people um, who were just saying stuff like <clears throat> like more conspiracy theory shit that like um, I hear from my fucking mom and 
stuff. So there's that. Um, but for the most part, it didn't really seem like most people knew what was going on and why it was going on. And I found that really strange. And then the fact that a lot of people just seemed like resigned to the fact that they have no control over anything really bummed me out. And um, so I did all this shit and I've been trying to put together this article. And in doing so, I just realized that the way I would write an article is not the way places want to have articles written. And so that deterred me a lot. So now I have this like giant clusterfuck of a Frankenstein article that I'm probably going to just strip down and write into poems or something like that because uh, it's not working right now. And also right now, I haven't even looked at the news yet, but the uh, Justice for J6 March on Washington is supposed to be going on right now. And it didn't really seem like there was going to be a whole lot of people there, um, but you never know with these things. You never know how things are going to turn out. So so there's that. Um, but that's why I was not here, because I was out and about all over, um, basically all over parts of LA, um, interviewing people. And, uh, it was, it was interesting. It's so weird. Cause when you do stuff like that, you kind of grow as a person, but at the same time, it's like, it's like looking at, it's like going to an aquarium, like you're there and behind the glass, there's all this life happening and all this, this world taking place and you just observe it. It's, um, it's very strange, very strange. And then I had my own personal experiences and stuff and that's stories for another day, I guess. Um, but I will say one of the, one of my favorite things that I have discovered over the last week or two weeks, I guess, is, um, the Modelo Chilada. Um, it's fucking tasty. And I wish I was drinking one right now. Um, but it's basically like beer, tomato juice, um, lime juice, and chili powder and salt. And it is fucking delicious. So fucking good. I'm going to go get some when we're done here. Um, so with that said, let me read some poems to you guys. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to read these last two. I'm not going to read these guys. That's a little too heavy for me right now. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Okay, so this is called... Um, the view of this shithole from 363 miles up. The world seems to be such a shithole right now. People fucking dying left and right from a pandemic that not everyone believes in. Recall elections, unvaxxed cops, propaganda, propaganda, masks in schools, kids dying now. Homelessness, unemployment, protests, propaganda, propaganda. All of these people have agendas, but none of them seem to have good motives. All of this, and yesterday, a rocket launched with four civilians on it to spend three days in orbit. The juxtaposition is surreal. But will we have enough time for everyone to get off this rock before we destroy it and each other? So yeah, that 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 was a uh, weird news stories back to back. Um, and then this is called the ugliness of things at eye level. I watched the cops roll a homeless person. There was a little tent in the woods behind Arco. Two squad cars, a few cops, 
to roll a little old lady on crutches. She looked fresh destitute. Her clothes were clean, her gray hair short cropped. These assholes with their 30 year fixed mortgages, their two new cars, their 2.5 children, rolling this old woman who hit hard times quite recently. I hope they can sleep well tonight in their memory foam mattresses. At least this old lady will get three hots in a cot. I couldn't watch. I looked up, seeing the needles of the pine trees, pine cones, squirrels, woodpeckers, sky with few clouds. Oh man, that was just a rough fucking sight. Ugh, it was awful. It was awful. So now, to cheer you guys up, um, I'm going to going to play a little number for you. And um, this song here, uh, again, this is like a super fucking old song. It was inspired by the Edgar Allan Poe uh, poem, The Cockroach Worm. And uh, it actually plays quite well into everything that's going on right now. But um, the gist of the poem is that no matter who you are, what walk of life you have, um, how high you are on the uh, ladder of awesomeness, at the end of the day, we're all worm food. And as soon as we die, uh, we're going to be rotting, decaying, eaten alive from the inside out the same way. Like, there will be no difference. Well, now you could say, oh, well, you know, we uh, put formaldehyde in the bodies and embalm. And, you know, some people get cremated. Some people, you know really nice um, coffins inside little um, cement crypts and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, your point is fucking made, you asshole. But at the end of the day, we're all fucking dead. And we're all fucking worm food. And that's really um, the idea behind that. And so I fucking wrote this like probably 20 years ago. Um, Creeperson did a version of it on uh, on Creeperson Reanimated, I think. Yeah, so like 2011, um, we did a version of it. But it was always meant to be like this weird little acoustic song. And this is a song that's going to come out on that Skin Slip album I'm going to be putting out next month. So. Uh, so there's that. Quite interesting, isn't it? Let's all talk about how interesting that is. Um, I'm going to do the cover reveal on uh, uh, Patreon probably today. Or I'll, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, just so there's something for tomorrow. Okay, let's put that out. Let's get cracking. I thought I'd already played this song on a podcast, but maybe I had. And if I had, who fucking cares, right? It's a it's a it's a fun little number. We could listen to it again. Let's see. Can I pull some of this down here? So oh shit. Alright, I think this is okay. And I don't know if I usually capo this, so we'll see. The gas mold in here, the gas mold me, 
That got this moment, both of us ain't that guys down in the streets. We're just moms, so it seems. We're just moms, we seem to be. We're just moms, all the same way around. Just moms, all just the same. With wounds right there in our skin. Hideous maggots deep within Our voices will love up the hero of the place The conquering world Conquering world Get your old casket of gold Get your own casket of wood each man he will have a grave made of a thin wood. Cause we're just mimes, so it seems. We're just mimes, we seem to be. We're just mimes, all the same. We're out, just mimes, out just the same. But wolves right there in our skin. Hideous maggots deep within Our corpses will love from the hero of our place The conquering world 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 And the hero of our place The conquering world Conquering world Conquering world So yeah So that's that And if anybody out there Is going to be in the high desert area On October 30th I will be performing at the Scare Fair um, more details about that as they come in. So, um, run over to Patreon, um, sign up for any tier, really, um, and get lots of cool shit. Oh, and there's also, like, doing this thing on there where, like, if you're a so-and-so member for so long, you get, like, a sticker, and then if you're this, you get a shirt and a mug or a hoodie or something like that so there's there's tons of stuff um that you get plus um discounts on all my shit and you just get to help me out and i fucking appreciate it a huge amount so um next week this video will be um uh, patreon only um and so you can listen to the podcast like on itunes or at i hate mattwall.com or you can watch it um here with me um, and that will be fun for you, apparently. So, um, go over to IHateMattWall.com and click the Patreon link. Or I think if you go to Patreon.com slash MattWall, it will take you um, right to the thing. And you get, real quick, um, Pharma Phoenix Rises. Um, you can get this for five bucks if you are a Patreon member and then everybody, um, run over and get panic, um, on my Etsy shop and, um, look, it has like the names of the Patreons, the Patreons, the patrons on there. So anyway, until next time, everybody, I hope you guys are having a great week and stay safe out there. It's a scary fucking world. God damn it.